Hello folks, and welcome back to another uh, Shin Megami Tensei Persona 4. Um, so, let us continue our adventure. It's raining. Something might appear on television. Return to your room and watch TV? Yeah, sure. Why not? It's raining tonight. Will something appear on TV? I don't know. I don't know. In other Inaba related news, meteorologists are predicting heavy fog throughout the year. Ah, uh, damn it. The region has seen an abnormal amount of fog over the past few years, and the cause of the climate change is unknown. We all know what that means. Whatever the reason, residents of the Inaba area should be extra careful. Our broadcast tonight was extended to bring you up-to-date news on the incident in Inaba. The time is now midnight. The image is there again. It seems that if the conditions are met, you can see it as many times as you want. A silhouette appeared. It seems to be a woman. It looks like she's wearing a kimono. Uh oh, Yukiko. What would you? What would happen if um, you touched the TV midnight channel? Would you be able to touch the person on the screen? disappeared you should speak to Yusuke and Chie about this tomorrow you decide to go to bed for tonight I want to kind of explore my room see if there's anything I can do I don't know oh Igor and Margaret this is Welcome. Hello. Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real world. I have summoned you within your dreams. Okay. It seems you've been summoned to the Velvet Room. And so we meet again. We do. This is a space <coughs> that only those who have, in one way or another, entered into a contract may enter. In your daily life, you subconsciously heard the call to awaken, and you chose to follow the destiny of your inner voice, thereby enacting your glorious awakening to your power. Hold on to this. What? Obtained Velvet Key. From this night forth, you are our guest in this velvet room. Okay. Your destiny will require you to hone your power. And for that, you will inevitably require our help. Mm. Yep. There is but one prize for this assistance. You must abide by your contract and assume responsibility for all decisions you may make. Okay. I understand. Very well. The persona you have acquired... Is a Nagi. It is a side of you that uh. shows itself when you face the world around you. Perhaps you can think of it as a facade of determination you wear to face various difficulties in life. Your persona ability, however, is that of the wild card. Compared to that of others, it is very special. It is like the number zero. Empty, yet holding infinite potential within itself. Huh. Empty. The persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. 
Okay. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. Control one's heart. Social links are necessary for more than strengthening your persona. At times, they will help light the way to the truth you're searching for. Where will your awakened power of the wild card take you? I look forward to traveling the road of your destiny together. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't know whether to trust you or not, but for now, you have my trust. For now. Till we meet again. Goodbye. Yeah, I mean, it could kind of go both ways on the trust. Uh, it's foggy. That's not good. Yo! <laughs> Josuke. You saw what was on last night, right? I couldn't tell who it was. But if someone's shown up on TV, we can't ignore it. No. Nope. Let's go check it out after school. Maybe Teddy can tell us something. But it's foggy. That's not good. If it turns out someone was thrown in again, there really might be a culprit behind all this. Even if it is something about that place that's killing the victims. If someone's using that world as a weapon, that's unforgivable. We need to find the culprit, no matter what it takes. Yes. There's no way the police can do it. Who'd believe that the murderer kills people by throwing them into the TV? It is kind of surreal. I want to keep my word too. Totally. A promise is a promise. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, I tried sticking my head in the TV last night the way you did, and it actually worked. Huh. I think I can do that now because I have the same power. Interesting. Persona, wasn't it? Yep. Could be that we got this gift from someone specifically so we could solve the case. Then again, you managed to go inside the TV and get your persona first. <laughs> I feel like as long as you're with me, I can find the culprit and crack this case. Well, let's do our best. Let's do our best. Even with so much mystery swirling around, Yusuke is trying his hardest to move on. You see a sense of fate stirring a friendship between you and Yusuke. Dao Ad I, and I am Dao. Dao has established a new bond. It brings thee closer to the truth. Dao shall be blessed when creating what I did. Right, we got a new social bond though. As you form a bond with Yusuke, you feel this, the power in your heart strengthening. Re recall Igor's words. The persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. A friendship. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. Social links. Is this bond with Yusuke what Igor was talking about? Huh. You have established the Yusuke Hanamura social link of the magician Arcana. Yusuke's determination in battle has been enhanced. Yusuke can now take a mortal blow for you in battle. When you receive a blow that would otherwise kill you, your ally will take that hit for you during battle. Oh, nice. I am the strongest. Uh 
about Chie. We have to talk to her. Uh, Chie! Um, about yesterday? We're sorry we worried you. Oh, n never mind that. Is Yukiko still not here? Oh, you... I told you it was Yukiko. Damn it. Huh? Uh, Yukiko-san? Uh, no. At least, I haven't seen her today. Oh, man. What should I do? Hey, is that stuff you were talking about for real? You know, all that about how people showing up on the Midnight Channel is related to that other world. Yeah. Oh, we were just talking about that. We're thinking of checking it out later. The person on TV yesterday, I... I think it was Yukiko. That's exactly what I said. Damn it. That kimono looks like the one she wears at the inn, and she wore it during the interview a few days ago, too. I got worried, so I emailed her last night, but she hasn't responded. I called her earlier in the evening, though, and she said she'd be at school today. I... We have to help her. Calm down. We get the picture. And you still haven't heard from her? <sighs> no. You summed up the information you gained in that other world for Chie. What's that supposed to mean? Wait, are you saying Yukiko was thrown in there? That must be it. We don't know yet for sure. We should check to see if she's safe first. Give her another call. Dun, 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 dun. <sighs> no good. Her voicemail picked up. She's not answering. Are you serious? Then is Yukiko-san inside that place? Just stop, stop it! Something must have come up, like an errand or something. We have to go into the TV again. Oh, or, or she might be helping at the inn. She wouldn't be able to answer her cell if that's it. Yeah, but would she skip school for that? Well, I'll give the inn a call. Um... Got the number here somewhere. Come on, Yukiko. Pick up. Oh, is this Yukiko? Oh, thank God she's there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I see. Huh? Oh, no, it was nothing. I'll email you again later. Oh, phew. <sighs> she was over at the inn. I was ready to jump into the CV again. She said they had a big group reservation and she had to help out. Yeah, now that I think about it, this has happened before, too. At least once a year. She said she'll be at the inn tomorrow, too. Oh. Oh, for crying out loud, Yosuke! You got me worried over nothing! <laughs> She was totally fine. We're sorry. And you were all, is Yukiko-san inside that place? Oh. Sorry. But there is a reason we thought that. Oh yeah? What? Well, we thought people show up on the Midnight Channel because they're already over in that world. I mean, it makes sense, right? People show up on TV because they're inside the TV. But Yukiko-san's still here in our world. We might want to see what this is about. Agreed. All right, let's meet up at Juness after school. Ding, ding. We explained to Chie in detail again what happened last night. Okay, I think that's more than enough about my sorry escapades. If I hadn't seen the place firsthand, I'd never have believed a story like that. Yeah, no kidding. Anyways, we need to know what's going on inside. Well, how? By talking to that teddy guy? Yeah, 